That being said, Nigeria as it were, too many is not holding anymore. The center can no longer hold. Therefore, they rise for agitators across the states. Do you think at this point, a one Nigeria might not work? What might work in some you know, person's view would be a union, kind of. We have the United Kingdom. We have the United States. I think to many, they feel that is the best way to go. Now, what is your view about referendum? That's number one. Number two, do you think, you might not be a lawyer though, but you may have some level of understanding about the Constitution. So what does the law say about a certain ethnic group who decide that they have had the number to be able to withdraw from Nigeria and form a nation of their own? Number one, personally, I don't agree with the American system or the UK system. I prefer the UAE system. Tell us about it. The UAE, of course, of, you know, they are 13 uh, Emirates. Okay. One of them is Dubai. Most people don't know Dubai is not a country. Mm. It's just an Emirates okay. under UAE. And then they have other people like the other is that are very popular. But Dubai, of course, overshadows all of them. And basically, it's a union where you have total control of your assets. They have their own alliance. That's why you have Etihad. Most people don't know Etihad is basically the airline of a particular emirate within the UAE. Just like Emirates itself, the airline. It's not the emirate of a particular emirate. It's not the airline of the entire uh, United Arab Emirates. So sure. that's what will work for us. We are everybody within the Nigerian states. Yeah. More like a customs union. Where you control yourself, the Southwest will have their own businesses, will have their own Supreme Courts. Do they have, have to their float own... their own currency? No, no, no. There will okay. be a central currency. There will be right. a central, central military command. All right. And there will be a central... A central external affairs. Okay. They work as a country. But every other thing is within your rights. Okay. That means if you are talking about the South South, people keep forgetting that until the military came, our constitution in 1963, the independence constitution, was basically based on the formula of 50, 30, 20. You can go back to that. That means the resources you have, you keep 50% of it. You transmit 20% to the center. 30% will not be in a, in a trust for those areas who are not as comfortable as you are. Let's say you want to build a road, you can't afford it. You tap it to that front to do that. So 30% will be for everybody, but you don't touch it until everybody agrees that you need that money. But 50% of whatever you make, you keep. So that means somewhere like the Southwest now, Nigeria most prosperous area. Let's say they are generating an income of let's say one trillion. That means they will keep 500 billion. They will take 300 billion to that trust. And they will give federal government 200 billion to run its own services. It was working. That's why people were competing. That's why they were building TV stations, building stadia, building, uh, building businesses. Because there was competition among the regions. That's what we need to go back to. It may not work at that level because a lot of people have created their own, their own uh, fiefdoms. Somebody who has power in Lagos may not want to obey battle. Mm. Somebody in Akure may say, no, I don't want to obey battle. Somebody, you understand? Mm. But even that can become accommodated that states can do the same thing to the region. Lagos states generates 1 billion, keep 50 billion, send 30 to the region, send 20 to the suffering fund. And then you now take it like that as a region the same formula and take it to the center. That's the best way to run Nigeria. Everybody will be happy. If you like spend your money sending people to Hajj, it's a problem. I will spend my money building facilities. <laughs>